line out Over ball five. and the ball is set. Great counter drive, but it is RGS Newcastle ball. No pens, no pens, no pens. Up we go, up we go. Push through, push through. Hold him up, hold him up. Ball's broken. Tackle. Come away with it. Newcastle had possession just outside the five meter. RGS Newcastle desperate to go to the break with some points on the board. Counter drive by Millfield. Picked at the base once more. Keep up, keep up. Come on. Nothing. I've got nothing. Keep up. Gents held up. Would be a goal on drop out. Held up is the call. Millfield have escaped unscathed in this opening half here on pitch two. Boys, well done. Great, great start. Okay, particularly pleased your organisation in defence in terms of that alertness and concentration. Okay, my little bit of detail. Let's stay low around the edges in that danger zone when we're right in our line. Yeah, we've got to get tight and we need to get lower. Okay, couple inches lower. Fight to get off the floor. We do not want bodies on the floor in that situation. Get off the floor and defend. Good start in terms of detail and accuracy on your um, on your line out stuff and, and finding that space and attack. Milford go herring away down the side. Scored an outstanding try. Well, that's called cool an end to what has been a pretty one sided affair here on pitch two. Not as strong as I thought they were going to be. Yeah, a couple of bits I thought it was just, we still look, that's where we're shaking there around 13 foot, you know, out. So the teams will just, you know, a good team will just get around us there. George Cottrell's going to be hard to Take off. not play. <laughs> Keep his game minutes down. He does. He does some like met goal some stuff, and then that bit on the side, it's like just drop under George and you're in. Yeah. yeah. We still haven't got our midfield. We've got to be better off our midfield scrums. It's just been poor. Like uh, we've got two hours now uh, until you play again. This next one is really tough now. Okay, you've performed. You've got those nerves out of the way. You've dominated the side who perhaps didn't offer that much against you. It's a real watch out danger. Okay, to be able to go, oh, let's all pat ourselves on the back. We're delighted with that. So exciting to watch what you're capable of. But we put that behind us. Next game, next game. Okay, not tomorrow. Next game, 1:30. Get that bit right. With the emphasis clearly on the cohesive team dynamic, much of Millfield's rugby DNA comes from the contribution that each individual player makes. We adapt slightly in terms of where their strengths lie and the, the characters within the team. The original intentions around the individuals being able to get better and fulfill themselves through sport, that's very much about their development as people and uh, the characters and the teams. If we end up winning a few games alongside that as well, then that becomes pretty enjoyable. See, he's interesting because he's not Noah's um, very independent individual character. Yeah, I think you want. Yeah, out of those back three, you want someone that's going to be willing. He's going to offer you something that we haven't had yet, I think, in terms of, you see, if he gets that ball on Saturday, he mm. probably scores, doesn't he? Looks like Noah, doesn't it? So, yeah. we need to find out. Oh. <laughs> Literally run from training. Oh, bless you. Oh. I, do, I do one, two. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm a dancer at the school. I'm currently one of the dance captains. Are we ready to go? Yep. It's normally a bit weird when I tell people I'm, I'm a rugby playing dancer, but I think I've definitely created an atmosphere since I've been here where dance is definitely a lot more accepted being a, being a male dancer. It's sort of being different, and I think that represents a lot about what Milford's about, is being different. I don't know what that is. What, what is that bit? Miss this bit here. I don't know what it is. Yeah. One, 
two, yeah. three, and it was like, and then something. But I can't do, I can't drag one from there. Yeah. And I go, one, one two. Oh, yeah. now I'm facing that way. I need to go the other way. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. That'll do. I could work. I, I started looking to go elsewhere for sixth form because I really wanted to pursue sport as a career. Obviously, I looked at Millfield because the sports here are just incredible. I went through the application process, went through the scholarship process, and then was lucky enough to get a place. I hadn't actually initially thought about going to the US until I came to Millfield last year. Um, and I went to a talk like this, and I was like, you know what, I'm actually quite interested in going. I'm very ambitious to be in the first 15. I think the first 15 is sort of idolised throughout the school. It is seen as the, the best position to be in. My cha main challenge is probably my size. I'm not the biggest, but I do make up for it with my speed and agility. But I never let that stop me. Mr Miller. Hello. Uh, what are you up to at the weekend? At the weekend? Are you around at the weekend? Are you available? I am around at the weekend. We would love you to come to St Joseph's and uh, be part of the squad at the weekend. Really? Yes, sir. Oh, th thank um, you, sir. We've had some good feedback from yep. Mr Short and good Mr Kingsford, so well done. Uh, thank you, yeah, sir. We would, uh, yeah, late in Hugo's, uh, as you probably know, is injured. Yeah. So I think you'll bring an extra dimension to our attack pace, which we'll need a bit of uh, when we're up there. You've earned that in a really competitive, you know, there's a whole load of guys fighting, you know, to get into the seconds position and you've played and you know, every time you've played, the coach, second team coaches have given us good uh, chat. Yeah, thank you. Good news, it'd be good to have you yeah. with us, Noah. And, uh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I'll, I'll speak to my parents cool. and then... Let us know if we, uh, about it, well done. Okay. Good All right, thank Thanks, you, sir. sir. Thank you. See you later. Noah, good news. Thanks, good sir. Good stuff. Good work. Davis on the hard line, Emmanuel scores. Ball's headed to the floor, out to Emmanuel who turns on the afterburners, straight through, like a hot knife through butter. Emmanuel is racing away. It's right, it's, it's on, it's on. Go on, George. Out to Cottrell, goes up the gears, Cottrell straight through. That settles the nerves a bit now. He very well might get the ball here, and he does. Levenstein nice. tipped on nicely. Do you think you'll win it this year? Or... Uh, Trinity was strong earlier on, so yeah. So. I can't remember what it was, but they, they beat Kirkwood quite convincingly. They signed 24 7, something like that. And they, had, they scored two tries when they had the yellow card. Yeah. So, so they're looking good. So. Yes, try! Uh, you're one again, is it? Have you got a time on them? No, no, on the, on the game. No, I'm not kidding. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. 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 well, we must be. It's got to be halfway through the half at least, yes. The Millfield machine starts to find another gear but a momentary lapse will halt the momentum. So what's he doing? Has he carded anybody? Or has he just not yet. made them shake hands? And it's not going to make any. Di it's not going to make any difference to the result of the game. In many ways, there's only about two minutes left, isn't there? I'm going to break it down to you, okay? One of your players, yeah. okay, has started this by tip tackle, landing on the back. This would have been a yellow card. Now, we've misidentified the player. We saw 17, there is no 17 on the pitch, okay? Therefore, we can't card someone. However, what we have clearly seen is number 16, the player that got tackled, punch the Strathallan player in the face. This is a red card, okay? We're gonna be restarting with a penalty to Strathallan. Okay, thanks, sir. Red card, yeah? Was it a red? Yeah. That's it, that's it though, isn't it? That's right, so he's out of it. We're, we're a man down for the rest of the competition then. That's not good, is it? We're not a man down for the rest of the competition. Yes, it says red card, card means really? no longer allowed to take part. 
but that'll be full time anyway. I think the right option, really, despite them being trailing, they're not going to get much else out of this game. Real shame that that is the way that we have to end it. I was I was really quite upset. So a lot a lot of preparation goes into this, and the selection process, especially in schools, really quite tight. And when you get that position, it's a real privilege. Um, and when I got that red card, I just it was quite hard hitting. I just felt really guilty for the boys. In the heat of the moment, he's been tip tackled. You can't really blame him for losing his head, but also we do need to control ourselves in those areas. Look, he's still got a massive part in, in this weekend. We've we've spoken a lot about that those reserve players and that 60 to 24 we talk about, and I, and I think his job's still massive in that, no matter what. It's tough to take individually, but he's still got to stick around with the team and, and look after himself and look after us as well. Yeah, not not too bad at the moment. It's Mr. French, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh wow. He's got two little people now. Oh really? One about that big. Yeah. One about that big. Jeez. Go and scare some little. People. I'll email you soon, sir. Yeah. Lovely. Cheers. Cheers. See you in a bit. Do you have any idea what you want to do? Yeah, yeah. We'll start off with just some simple catch pass lines, yeah. Yeah, nice. And then um, we'll go into some two v ones or three d twos. Yeah. So in attack, what is that first, the first man looking to do to the first defender? Draw him in. Commit him, yeah. So if that first man commits the defender, then he's sort of taken out the game, yeah? It sort of feels like a privilege, to be honest, to, to think that you, you were able to come here when you were younger. The, the coaches down here were very helpful for me because it was a sport that I was very interested in when I was very young. They sort of helped me develop my skills, which then helped me when I first joined the senior school. Good hands, good hands. Good hands. Well done, buddy. What I want out of rugby is to be, to be able to go pro, but it's also to make connections with different people and learn, learn what other people have been through to be able to get to their, to their career. Okay, so that's just basic attack, yeah? Three D2s, nice and simple. Is there like, so if you're in open play, is it like, are you good in bigger spaces and narrow spaces? Yeah, we could be better. So if we make like a narrow pitch on a 5v5 and <coughs> see how it goes, yeah? yeah? All right, so we'll go from where Ellis is now to the touchline, playing up and down like this. Ready whenever you are, Tris. He's someone that we've really missed having around and the disappointment of getting injured in, in a pre-season tournament for Bath. I know how disappointed he was to miss the start of the season, but he's worked phenomenally hard and you can only see the kind of performance he put in last week and a lot of that was due to the kind of work that he was doing off the field on, on his rehab and his fitness and to come back and play as well as he did last week was, was brilliant. Oh, it's dummy Joe. All right, should we do, if someone says clap on me, clap on three, one, two, three, and then claps, everyone does it on three, yeah? Clap on me, clap on three, one, two, three. Yeah, all right, you say it, okay? All right, let's get in, let's get in. Clap on me, one, two, three. Yes, boys. The National Schools Rugby Festival hosted by us here at St Joseph's College in Ipswich brings schools in from all over the country and the idea is that actually what we want to do is showcase under 18 schoolboy rugby talent in one place over a two day period and then over the last seven years in particular what we see here uh, this weekend is what it's grown into um, and actually it's now the highlight of the rugby calendar in the UK. We have a huge waiting list of, of schools that want to be involved and it's very difficult to pick the right ones each year and at the moment we've got some of the Millfields, the Wellingtons, uh, Denstons and so on, former winners over the last few years competing for glory today and uh, it's, it's a huge privilege to have them at the school and uh, as part of such a big tournament for, for everybody involved. I think the brand of rugby that's played here at the festival is very different to what you'll see uh, on a weekend block fixture uh, in any school game because there isn't the time to build an attritional defence and win a game in that style. It really is all or nothing rugby with the, with the time and the format of the, of the weekend. So I'd say the brand here is very fast paced. It's exciting. Um, there's a great contrast between teams that are quite traditionally strong and dare I say sort of old school versus sort of the young, 
flair, whippersnapper style of rugby. They've just gone over him a couple of times. Closer, just over Jack Lee's fingertips. Very similar to what you're doing in a game is you're actually throwing the ball really well. But the key, I think, more and more than for you is your, how you readjust. So you're doing six. This time you're hitting the white just above the grey. Okay, the brick direct opposite here, tag. Okay, Henry's set the bar very high because he got zero out of six. You've got to hit that brick. <sighs> Just over. What's your correction on that one, Harry? I'm just trying to figure, trying to figure out on my feet. Hard, isn't it? Yeah. It's normally my fingers are a little bit more like towards the front. So it's just being mindful of that. It's good because it makes you adapt this ball. I'll have to get it back a little bit. On the money, there you go. Uh, let's do another set on here. Give me a score each time, five. And it, again, I'm not worried about where it ends up. It's about how it feels for you. Four. Bees has been great. He's come into the, to the group as a lower six boy and He's probably someone that wasn't necessarily on our radar right from the start of the season, but he's worked incredibly hard. He's always putting in extra time on his throwing and he's just a great guy to have around the group. Tell me what a five feels like. I feel like everything is just going exactly how it should. So the, yeah. hands are, the hands are following through properly. We've spoken about Desire a lot this year as a first 15 and I think he's, he's one of those members that really show that. He just doesn't want to be defeated and I think, you know, we got so many players like him that really raises us, you know, that, that determination, the desire not to lose. Congratulations, Mr. Beasley. Good session. Yes, Good job. The golden arm goes home with Beasley. Good job, boys. Well done. Enjoy your lunch. So you guys are going up on the bus on Friday, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's seven hour, I think seven hour coach ride. Yeah, we're going to drive up. We've got a hotel booked for a couple of nights. While you're in dorms, we'll be uh, Living it, living the good life. And year nine, I moved across to Millfield. And I remember the first session was on the junior fields and we've trained with the old first team. And we're going out with the boys and then being able to do stuff that I'd like, I'd seen on TV, but I'd never actually seen someone do it. And we're watching it and just thinking, <laughs> one day, hopefully, this will be me. So how many of this year's team were in last year's uh, squad? Four, I think it's four lads from, you played at St. Joe's last year, yeah. So basically a lot of you are doing it for the first time? Most, yeah, pretty much everyone. Yeah. And the guys that have been there before, are they kind of talking you through what happens? Yeah, they've, so they've, they've sort of said like, this is, what you, this is what you need to expect, but don't think you're going to go there and win it, because you've got to put in the work to get there, you've got to work hard. Going on that, the pre-season a couple of weeks ago, and just everything just clicking, as I sort of dreamt it would. I all went to plan, I was training with the, the first, and I was, I was just I was over the moon, I got selected to go to the Kingswood pre-season tournament. And from there, I just, it's all just gone now. It just keeps going through. I keep, whenever, whenever I have a game, I'm like, oh, I've only got 10 more left. I've only got nine more left now. I would have gone bigger, but the 15 was in the way. They'll take a while to break down these guys. They conceded one try yesterday. Um, won a game 3-0, you know, so they're not, you know, they're not giving much away. All the teams, you know, boys are beginning to get tired now. They've played probably the equivalent of a full game and we're asking them to do it again now. And all their good habits and the preparation are in these, uh, these last couple of games.
as the game progressed, we got more physical, we put in a couple of big shots and kept ticking over with penalties. Spilled and Millfield will come away with it. It's hacked through by their number 12, Emmanuel. They look to come away with it into the wide channel. One more should do it. And Millfield crash over. It's brilliant to have made it this far. Boys have done very well, but our goal is obviously to win the tournament. Some of the lads have been there before, they know what it's like. The game is a game after that in the final, so we would finish this game and then we're on to the proper thing and we can finish the job then. Next time on The Season. You can see that passion's there and that drive to get better. Bit past it, good! Go stay, use your footwork! As coaches, we're not being challenged.